I'm always asked which category I make the most profit in. Today, I'm going to tell you. Hey, it's Don. Today, we're going to talk about the item that makes us the most profit for our investment. Across the board, the one category that we always make more money in than any other category is records, media in general. We sell these like mad. I've sold 45s just like this for $4,200 has been my top selling price. And not only that, when I sold that one, we bought three of the exact same records for a dollar a piece and made over $12,000 selling individual 45s. Now, obviously, they don't all sell that high. Obviously, it's a low amount that you'll get into the thousands of dollars, but three or four times a year, every single year pretty much, we find records of $1,000 or more value. And we've had records all across the gamut from $1,000 to 2200 2700 $3,300, and then $4,200 range. So the value is there. Now, one thing I can say about records is you have to be into the music. You have to be into the fact that it's on a piece of vinyl, and you actually have to play it many times when they value them that high to make sure that it's a decent record. Record. Records in general has a very high learning curve. Not only that, it's something that's going to be tedious and could take you extra time to research and do other things because of many different factors. Some are different labeled. Some of the artist names are different. There's all kinds of different reasons why you'll have to really hunt and dig for some records. Now, if you're not into that, you don't like the sound of records, you're not wanting to spend the extra effort to dig for them, to search for records all over the place, it may not be a category for you. Now, for me, I grew up on records. I like the sound of the crackle and the pop when a record's playing on the turntable. Brings me back to the days hanging out with our friends, elevating our minds, and enjoying some good music. So, I have a fond affiliation with music. Stuff like this, I remember buying when they first came out back in the 70s and 80s. Any of these sorts of things are great to find. Now, these aren't going to be worth a ton of money. A 45 are where I make most of our money when we're selling records because if you get the right one they can go for a thousand even forty two hundred dollars now the one that I sold was a group called Tommy and the Derbies and it was a very scarce record pressed in Jackson Mississippi area when we lived there so certain areas of the country certain types of records will show up but you got to have the patience you got to have the temperament to dig for these because you're gonna have to look through thousands maybe tens Tens of thousands of records to be able to pull out one that's worth that kind of money. Many people just think you're going to go out and find a bunch of records and automatically be making a lot of money. Most records you will run into aren't worth much at all. Even more so these days because they are repressing records and many people would rather just have the represses of the records. But if you love music, you love the nostalgia of putting a record on a turntable and actually listening to it from start to finish without only playing one song, this could be for you. Now, now for me, I love music. I'll buy records even if they're not worth money just to hear the song on it many people just wouldn't be into it that much but in my opinion you have to really be into music to want to sell it you have to have some affiliation some connection with it you have to enjoy it you have to enjoy listening to it but as I said if you love music like I do the biggest profit areas are records without a doubt any time because most people don't spend the time so they don't know the expensive ones versus the non-expensive ones and most of the high dollar ones you won't find comps on eBay so you have to know that kind of information from other sources besides eBay now I've talked about pop site discogs and all the other places we even sell records on Amazon so there is a lot of money though to be made but again it takes a lot of time also so a quick way to get a shortcut in knowing all about about records even if you look up a lot of them there are still many things you can miss because again you might have to look up prices on two or three different sites or apps just to find a correct value on them 
You'll be wasting a lot of time when you go into records as well, too, trying to figure out which ones are good and which ones are bad. So again, this is an area that if you're not really interested in doing all of this, that you probably aren't going to be successful. But if you're one of the few like me who just loves putting a record on a turntable, it is very rewarding. And not only, not only is it rewarding for the music as well, but obviously you can make some big bank out of selling the right type of records. You just have to know the ins and outs. Hope that answers those questions for many of you who've asked that same very question. That's about it for today. Hopefully that gives you some thought on this. Hopefully that's got your mind spinning a little bit on whether you would want to spend the effort to learn this or not, but the reward is there for those who would be into it. Again, you have to like this sort of thing. I love music of all types, but that's what I have for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Before zip code, a boy, a girl, a valentine. There was a boy in New York City who loved a girl like Prince Gobain. He sent a call to say he loved her, to say he cared. Another valentine, carefully zip-coded, here and here. A different girl, still far away by Frisco Bay, but the same boy, a little older and a little wiser. His letter flew across the country in just one day. Peace.